I've been working all morning on Hot Wheels, and I'm hungry. Don't go away. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fat Guy Productions. I am Paul, coming to you, as always, from beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. So, I'm hell and gone from being a prepper. Um... In fact, when you, you say the word prepper, there's this uh, undertone uh, where people think, oh, that guy's crazy. You know, oh my gosh, he's this preparing for the end of the world. Well, I don't, I don't buy into that. I think uh, there's nothing wrong with being prepared. And uh, some people are really good at it. They're they're gonna be around a long time after we're all gone, okay? But seriously, with the way things have gone lately, I don't think it is a mistake to be at least somewhat prepared. Now maybe you don't need to go into a, a year of supplies and, and fuel and shelters and all these other things, but I do think um, it is absolutely reasonable to take some steps to be ready for the next thing to come along. And, and, and what I'm talking about is COVID-19. It could have been so much worse. It really could have. And I'm not downplaying it or anything like that. I'm not taking a side here. I'm just saying it could have been so much worse. And yet... We all saw what happened. Panic buying. We crippled our own supply chains. Um, the people who started the panic buying were buying so much of, of the basic things that we all want and need that everybody else had to get on board. We were forced to get on board or end up with nothing. So it was it was a vicious cycle. It was just eating its own baby, and uh, you know that kind of woke me up, and uh, it made me said that if if for something like COVID nineteen we lost our minds over something like COVID nineteen, what's going to happen if it gets worse? If 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 the next thing is bigger. So with that in mind. I have decided to start doing some uh, prep for myself and my wife. Um, maybe stuff to be able to share. Certainly anything, if we're able to bring the family together, we'll, we'll share anything that I have uh, socked away. But I've decided that I do need to take some steps to get us over the hump of the next thing that comes along. And... So to that end, uh, today we're going to be looking at a meal, and yeah, I'm going to have lunch. But uh, I, I'm going to, as I go, this video, normally I would just dive right into what I got. See, it's 11 o'clock. It's time to eat. Um, normally I would just dive right into what I have here, but... And, and I'll do that in future videos, but right now I kind of need to explain to you my my philosophy and why I'm doing the things that I'm doing and stuff so that you can determine if, if they're right for you and your family. Because not everything I do is going to fit you, all right? And a lot of preppers are going to scoff at the things that I'm doing. So uh, let me get this out of the way here, Okay. I will show it to you in a minute. So here's the deal. There's a, a lot more I'll tell you in, in upcoming videos. But the bottom line is we need shelter, we need water, we need food. Okay, there's a thing called the rule of threes for survival. Uh, I'll go into that in a whole separate video. But in the rule of threes, those are, are, are the important things that you need. Now, I figure in my modest preparations, uh, I can find shelter either in my own home or using Easy Ups. And I have about a 
couple zillion miles of paracord. Uh, I have a camping background, so I, I I can deal with shelter. Okay, fire. I figure in a pinch I can make a fire uh, right this second. So uh, I, I'm not overly worried about that. Water is certainly a concern because it's something I haven't prepared for. So uh, this, I'm taking the simple starting uh, position of just laying in more water. So uh, I normally will buy like three cases every time I order water uh, for our our consumption in the house. I'm going to start adding an extra case. Every time I buy water, I'm going to add an extra case and stash it. Now, that's not the end of my water plans. I've got other plans for water, and we'll talk about those later. But it's pretty easy to just start laying in some cases of water. So that takes me to food. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Food, you can go three weeks without food. Who wants to? I don't, that's for sure. Although, I certainly could use it. Um, but... Food is a complicated issue that involves expiration dates, palatability, portability. There's a lot to it, and I don't think any one thing is the answer. So my food plan is going to be multi-tiered, and I'll talk more about that in other videos, because today's video is just going to be about my most basic level of preparing food, and that is with military MREs, or Meals Ready to Eat. So let's take a look and see what we have. So I bought this box of military MREs, and they look like this. Okay, This is a military MRE. This is chili with beans, chicken noodles, and vegetables in sauce. Uh, we have beef strips and savory tomato sauce. We have uh, veg vegetable crumbles with pasta in taco style sauce. Beef patty, jalapeno pepper jack steak, I guess, beef taco. Beef ravioli, chicken noodles, and vegetable sauce. Beef shredded and barbecue sauce. Chili with beans. And uh, beef, beef goulash. Two beef goulashes. Okay, so uh, these are amaranths. There's two, four, six, eight... 10, I guess 12, I've got a dozen of them, so that's 12 meals, okay? If you ate two of us, that'll take us um, six days if we eat one a day. Um, you know, it, it's enough. It's enough, okay? It's, I'm going to do more, but it's a starting point. And these are shelf-stable for years um, so uh, here's, here's, here's why I'm picking MREs as the foundation of my food thing. They're very stable. If they're good enough for our boys in the military, they're, and girls, if they're good enough for our military, they're good enough for me. Um, uh, and this is a very complete package and I'll show you what I mean when we get into one, but it's a very complete package and, um, it's very portable, okay? So I can have a stash of food here in the house. But what if the house is the, the focal point of the danger and I need to leave? Well, I can throw a bunch of these into a bag and be on the road in nothing flat and I'm good to go, okay? So they're ver they're versatile. They're compact. They're, they're completely uh, edible. Um, so, you know, I, I mean, I think... These are a really great place to start to lay in a food supply. Now, I'm going to talk more about my food supply and my philosophy as we take a look at one of these. Uh, but what do you think? I got menu number one, chili with beans. I think I had two of them. 
So uh, I think we'll we'll look at a chili with beans today. And we'll put all the rest in the box. So while I'm doing this, let me let me explain to you here what I'm thinking. These are very complete, very portable. I can take them and go if I need to. All right. And um, I can build on these. Okay, I can build on these with. Uh, standalone freeze-dried meals. I can build on these with canned meats. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of options that work with these, and these are really shelf stable. They're very uh, very complete, and and they just seem like a great starting point. Now, do I want to live off of MREs for a month? No, I don't. Okay, I don't think anybody would want to. But uh, if I had to, I could. That's the point. So my philosophy is a, a multi-tiered food storage system where I'm going to have my foundation being uh, U.S. military MREs, and then I'm going to build on it with uh, camp foods and canned foods and things like that to be able to take these and make them better. Uh, I'm looking as an initial starting point to try to have uh, enough food for my wife and I to last, say, about 21 days. And then over time, I'll grow that. Um, if we are able to connect up with the kids, of course, we'll share anything that we have. Um, the more, the better. But this is a great place to start a little bit of preparation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at everything that's in here, and we're going to have lunch together. So, um, yeah, let's let's open this up. So now, while, while I'm doing that, you're going to hear stuff that we're not supposed to have MREs, okay? The government kind of looks at, looks at the MRE market like this, like, they've sent letters to to eBay and said, hey, please take down any MRE sales. You know, we don't like them. But they're not really doing anything about it. And I don't even know why they care. As long as the production meets their needs first, anything that these companies can make and sell to the civilian market, uh, I think they should be doing it so that we don't have to buy them on a secondary market um, and pay out the the yin yang for them so i i think that uh they ought to just make these available but if you're against that and don't want to buy the military ones and they're all over the place um there are a lot of really comparable civilian mres out there that you can buy so um yeah if if this if this is a problem for you no sweat. There are other options. I like the military ones. All right. So anyhow, it, the first thing I like about it is this bag. This is complete, compact. It tells you what it is, and this is heavy duty. So uh, yeah, it, it's really a good deal, and you can use the bag for something else. You can use it to store ancillary things that you don't use up, or you can uh, put some water in it, or you can use it for your trash. Now, normally people will cut these open, but if you look, there's a little triangular thing in the heat seal here, and that's a little weak spot where you can pull it apart. And so it opens up pretty easily, even though it's sealed really well. And so here we have the uh, MRE, meal number, menu number one, chili with beans, and... Uh, Let's take everything out and take a look at it. Hey, you know what I have here? I got here. This is not my idea. I've seen this from other people. Um, this is like a, a dining hall tray. And uh, other people that do these things, um, they put uh, this stuff out on these trays. And I, so it's not my idea, but I'm going to steal it. Okay, so anyhow, don't throw the bag away initially, okay? You can... Not to be gross, you could put human waste in here and then seal up and get rid of it. You could fill it with water. 
to carry water from point A to point B, or you can just put your trash in it uh, when you're done. There, this is a great heavy-duty bag. Don't throw it away right away, okay? Throw it away when you're done making the most use out of it, and that's something you're going to want to do in a survival situation. You're going to want to uh, be creative and make good use out of everything. Okay. So, we have it packaged in a package in a package. All right, let's just start taking this stuff out one layer at a time. And you'll see what I'm talking about, about how they're so complete. Okay, so this is vegetable crackers. Right? Crackers are always a good thing to have around. Okay. Now, here is one of the things I'm talking about, about it being complete. This is the ancillary package. And we'll look at that here in a little bit. Okay. This is a hot bag. And it's a hot beverage bag. So what you can do is you can uh, dump like your coffee mix or whatever into here. Fill it up with the, the correct amount of hot water. Zip it shut. Shake it up. And you can drink out of this. Um, I guess it doesn't get a lot of use in the world, but this is another reason I really like the military MREs. This is a flameless ration heater. And basically, it's got this weird chemical element in here. And you, you tear this open, and you put your meal in here, and you fill it with water just in there, just a little bit of water. And this thing gets crazy hot, and it will cook your MRE for you. So uh, military rations that need need heating come with one of these, and that's one of the reasons I really do like the the military rations. Pepperoni pizza crackers. Yeah, I think these are like those uh, little barrel shaped pretzel type things. So I don't know. We can put those up there your requisite military spoon. All right. Beverage base powder, lemon lime, okay? Lemon lime drink. Uh, cornbread, and I guess TFF means trans fat free, but this is a piece of cornbread, nice. This is always nice to have. This is cheese spread. Now this is just a this is just a plain cheese spread. It's not as good as like the jalapeno cheese spread. It's a little bland and it's gross coming out. You you definitely it says to need to package before opening, and the reason for that is to make it not look so horrible. Okay, so you definitely want to do that. This is your little cook sleeve. Okay, it's got information about your meal, and this is chili with beans. It tells you everything you want, but this is uh, where you put your uh, meal and your heater pack, and you put them all inside of this to hold them nice together, and then you'll use that to cook your meal. Okay, and then here is our uh, chili with beans. Okay, that's a, that's a good portion, okay? That's that's no joke. That's a nice little portion. And and then that's it. Okay, so let's take a quick peek at what's in here. And this is one of the reasons, just one of the reasons I like the military stuff. Okay? Is all of this uh ancillary stuff that comes in, in the kit. Okay, so here we have a couple pieces of gum. Here we have Bill's Brew freeze-dried coffee. Now, I'm not a, a coffee drinker, but I will go ahead and try that for you guys today. Non-dairy creamer, I will be using that in my coffee. There's a moist towelette. 
sugar pack going in my coffee, a book of matches. They're not made for wet after long exposures, but they do work in damp environments. Very handy. And you can see why, why I would like an MRE here based on that. There's a big thing of salt. Sad that there's no pepper here or hot sauce. And then here's something wonderful. Toilet paper. It's just a little one, one visit load of toilet paper. And so, yeah, you can see how this really has some special things going for it. You know, I, 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 I totally am down with the MREs. Okay, so listen, I'm going to get me some hot water. And we're going to get a cold bottle of water and a glass to make the drink mix. And then we're going to go ahead and get this all cooked up. And, and we'll, we'll do a taste test. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got a, a coffee cup here. Got some hot water going in the other room. And uh, got a cup for my juice, a cold water to make the juice. And I have all my food stuffs. Okay, so let's go ahead and first start by getting this cooking, okay? Do I want to warm up the cornbread? No, I'm just going to cook this. All right, so to do that, I'll need these two things, okay? And what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to tear the top off. It wants us to put the water in first, so we'll do that. Open up this little bottle. Okay, this is just regular old tap water. Well, in this case, bottled water. Okay, I overfilled, like it said not to. Okay, I'll take that. Slide that in there. Okay. Okay. Now we roll this up. Shake it around. Get into the cardboard sleeve, and then you can prop it on a rock or something like that. But what a lot of guys say to do is they take and they use their little toilet paper thing and they prop it up underneath there. Okay, and it is getting hot. Okay, so we're good there. So let's go ahead and make uh, my lemon lime drink. Okay. Okay. So you see it's just a nice looks like a Kool-Aid powder mix or something like that. Okay. Fill that up with water. Ooh. Pretty green. Okay, get our spoon out, get a stir. Yeah, it's been a while since I've had to, to eat an MRE. Uh, last time I did it was when we were, uh, I, was, I was on the uh, Nevada Urban Search and Rescue Team and we were deployed to Hurricane Katrina uh, for the first several days there until the government was able to get some resources down there um it was mres baby and every day we were out searching it was also mre so yeah okay all right let's give this a taste cheers Not bad, uh, not bad at all. Okay, this is getting nice and hot. Okay. Um, let's, I think my uh, pot of coffee is, my water is boiled, so let's make the coffee, so let's do that. All right, so let's uh, 
creamer, the coffee, and the sugar. Okay. Bill's Brew. This is uh, uh, freeze-dried coffee. Not a coffee drinker, so I'll uh, I'll give you my best opinion of it. I would drink this in a pinch. Okay, it's not a lot. It smells like coffee. Okay. Got to find the little starting points. Creamer and uh, our sugar packet. Okay, and then hot water. Here we go. Smells like a cup of coffee. And tastes like a cup of coffee, okay? Really, it just tastes just like coffee. Um, I could use a little more cream and sugar, but really hot. It's super hot. Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Let's see how this is doing. Okay, this didn't get very hot at all. Okay, so my little heating element packet isn't working. I'm going to be eating cold chili, what it's looking like. Okay, let's take a little bit of room. Let's put this off to the side here. Let's, uh, let's check out these pepperoni pizza crackers. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. Oxygen excluder. Okay, let's try one of these. That's actually pretty good. That's a snack. Oh, now it's getting hot. Well, those crackers are good. I'll be eating all these. That's good. Now, the vegetable crackers, I'm thinking, instead of using the cheese spread for them, I'm thinking they would be good with the... Uh, I think they'll be good with the chili, so I'm going to unwrap them. Um, and then put them out so that I have them with the chili. What is it like a cracker with chili? Okay. One of them's a little bit crumbly. Okay. Let's try of cracker here. Mm. That, that's fine. That's really good. Um, crispy. A little hint of flavor. And we're going to try the cheese. 
Listen, I've seen the cheese come out of these packets. If you don't need it, you're not going to like it. Okay? So, absolutely need the cheese. Okay, so let's do this. What's up? Boy, those crackers are really tasty. Okay, so let's take that. Okay. Let's get a little bit of cheese here going. Not terrible. It's like cheese. Now, I got to tell you something about me. I'm a fussy eater. And so, if I'm okay with it, you're going to be okay with it. Mm. Check this out. So far, so good. Let's get this cornbread out. That actually worked out real well, too. The, uh, the pizza treat with the uh, cheese on it, that worked out real nice, too. Okay, here's the cornbread. Hey, it looks like cornbread. Got the oxygen excluder stuck into it. It's a little plasticky looking. A little weird looking. And that's, see, this side looks better. This side lo looks a little worse. But, you know, that's one of the things with an MRE. Let's go ahead. It, it's soft and moist. I can, I can tell that right off the bat. Very good. Very, very good. Kind of sweet. Um, let's try some of that coffee again, see if it's cooled down a little bit. Yeah, that, that'd be nice on a, a cold day and, and you need a drink. That'd be great, okay? Let's see here. This is still real hot, so I'm gonna let it continue to go just to get my food as hot as possible. And, All right. Um, Let's get the chili out. Okay, there we go. now of course and thus a little slickery there we go okay all right okay it doesn't look great but none of these really ever do until you kind of stir them up a little bit, mix them up. Okay. All right, there's my chili. And uh, you see what I'm saying? Okay, look. See, as I'm stirring it up, it immediately 
looks better. Okay, I see. This is one of the reasons I didn't want to uh, squish it around in the package. Is I see, look at that. Here's a whole bean in there. There's plenty of whole beans. And chunks of what is supposed to be meat, whether it is or not, uh, remains to be determined. But let's, uh, let's give it a taste test here. Here we go. Going in. It's not bad. Um, yeah, I could see eating that. And uh, it's it's not as hot as it could be. Unlike our soldiers in a survival thing, you could put this into a pot or something, and then you could uh, heat it up. And get it hotter so uh, you don't have those restrictions um, let's do this crackers are really fragile uh, yeah it's definitely not very hot but the the flameless heaters don't really get the stuff that hot Definitely get the chili powder taste. Tomatoey, beanie, and uh, I see what looks like pieces of green pepper, and I can taste green pepper in it. So there's a little bit hit of that, hint of that to just break up the flavors. Not bad, but I'd much rather eat the chili with the cracker and uh, eat the cornbread as a little side thing. So let's do this. See, sometimes with an MRE, you just need to be a little creative. And uh, I would absolutely eat this any day of the week and not be miserable. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's the way to do that, okay? You take the, the crackers and put it right into the chili. Well, guys, the chili's a little, uh, it's, it's almost like eating uh, a plate of refried beans, that kind of texture, but when you add your cracker in there, It gives you a whole new mouth feel, you know. Try some more of the coffee. Yeah, this is a, I'm going to be completely satisfied, I, I, I actually, I could call it a day right now, um, now I guess there's this, uh, uh, weird thing called mukbang, where, People like to listen to videos of people eating 
this is not a mukbang video. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm reviewing a meal. So, now I heard somewhere. with the ration heater that if you add your salt to it it will get hotter and work better so um, that's something to keep in mind maybe we'll try that in a future video but also let's say you have a meal like one of the many sandwiches and you don't use your flameless ration heater you got your your leftover bag put the stuff you don't use your salt packet your toilet paper your matches your towelettes your gum put it all back into that bag and keep it around chili's not hot enough run through another bag Now, uh, that was that was that was fine, man. Very good. The uh, pizza rolls. I'll probably save those and eat them for a treat a little bit later while I'm working on a car up here. But uh, now you can see why MREs are going to be the the basis of my food stash. Look how complete that is. I am full. I really am. I have some cheese left. My salt. My little stuff that I didn't use. I'm gonna put it back in my bag here. Save that. I'll even save the uh, little Ziploc hot beverage bag. I'll save that too. Boy, the, the cornbread's actually really good. I don't know if I would call it so much like a cornbread. It tastes a little more like a dessert to me. Definitely tasty though. Yeah, so, so that is MRE meal number one. I'm full. There was enough here I could share. I could easily share. I could have split everything in half. This could feed two. Okay? Now, we're talking about soldiers in combat conditions where maybe they only get one or maybe two meals a day, uh, but see, they can keep their little pizza rolls in their pocket, and, you know. I could have shared this. I really could have. And look, everything is gone except this, which will be gone shortly, and these, which will be gone. I might even finish this cup of coffee. For my taste, because I'm not a coffee drinker, I definitely could have used a, a, another sugar at least. But uh, So that's an MRE, and you can see why I'm going to make it the staple, of the, the bedrock of my food preps. It, it's just a fantastic way to instantly, instantly be prepared when it comes to food. So get in a dozen MREs, okay? It's like 50 bucks. 
get in a dozen MREs, get a couple pallets of water in, and you're instantly prepared. Okay? Not great prepared, but it's better than nothing. And, uh, you know, you, you've got something going. And then as you go, add to that. Okay? Bring in another pallet of water. Bring in some mountain house packets. Um, eventually order some more individual MREs where you pick and choose the ones that you've, you like. Um, get some and, and actually eat some, okay, so that you know what they taste like. And then later, as you're going and you want to rotate these things out before they end up going bad, which is years from now, um, you can either take them out with you when you go camping or uh, or what have you, or even in a pinch, you can donate them to uh, um, shelters where they can use them to feed some of the people. Uh, so there's there's a lot of ways that you can handle that. And so as you're rotating out the stuff that's getting close to expiring, you're bringing in new fresh stuff, so you always have good stuff in your food supply. So... I'm going to wrap this up because it's been a long video, but that is uh, some of the steps I'm going to take on being prepared uh, going forward. And, and I really think anybody that looks at the way things have gone the last two years with the COVID, that uh, it's hard to make a case that this isn't a good decision to, to be prepared at least at some level. And that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to be sharing a lot more of this other meals, uh, equipment, things like that, that I'm going to do to make myself be at least a little bit prepared should we have something like we had at the beginning of COVID again. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a giant thumbs up, click subscribe, and don't forget to flamelessly heat your notification bell so you never miss one of my MRE meal videos or preparedness videos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love to hear from you guys. It is the highlight of my day. All right, I'm going to get out of here. As soon as we're off camera, I'm going to eat the rest of that piece of cornbread, and then I'm going to eat these pizza rolls throughout the day. Okay, that's it for today. This is Paul from Fat Guy Productions. Until next time, saying be good.